All right, so um, you had the practice a little bit earlier uh, than I thought we would of you trying to put the site back together. And it seems that, that most of you did it. Good. So you're getting the hang of it, of resurrecting the site. Um, if you don't quite get it just yet, that's okay. With a little more practice, I'm sure you'll get it. So I do have my site. I brought it back to life as per the notes. And remember, uh, this happens as well that, whoops, I closed it. I closed the whole browser. Oh, how do I get back to my site? Remember, to get back to the site is uh, the address. It's going to be localhost slash whatever the name of the folder currently is. If you took my project folder from Tuesday, it was 2018-05-15. When we were here on Tuesday, it was 2018-05-10 uh, because that was a copy of it from last Thursday. So at the end of every day, I'm going to make the duplicator back up and put the date. So every day that address is going to change, but do you see the logic of it? It's just the date, 2018-05-15. And that takes me back to the home screen. That takes me back to the home screen here. Well, I want to log in, so that's wp-admin. So if you ever close your screen to get back into it, you just add the wp-admin at the end, and that lets you get back to the dashboard. So let's confirm we can go back to the dashboard, and then we'll continue. Okay, so um, what we will work on is a little bit more with menus, uh, a little bit more with widgets, and then plugins. So one of the best ways to get to get a whole uh, to get a handle of how the menus work is when we switch between themes. We often have to reset our menus. So I'm going to make a note here. So I'll say remember to reset your uh, menus when you switch between themes or um, when you first install a theme. Check the capabilities capabilities of your menu. Some themes have a top menu, side menu, right to menu, and all of that. And some of them only have one. Some of them I'm seeing more often now have also a social media menu. We actually have that in this theme. So we'll explore the social media menu for a moment. And then we'll go look at, when we add a different theme, what's important about that. So remind me, uh, where do we go in the dashboard to go edit our menus? Appearance. Under Appearance, yes. So let's go to Appearance, Menus. This particular menu has two spots. Uh, display Location, they should give that a better name, like uh, Menu Areas. Where can you put your menus into this design? And this particular one has a top menu and a social links menu. I don't, I can't really visualize at all. Where is that actually going to go? This kind of makes sense. That's going to be at the top somewhere. This one, I don't know. Is it going to be above this one, below it, to the right of it? I can't visualize it. And many times, your theme is not that helpful to really help you visualize where does it appear. But it's okay to then activate the menu and then go visit site and see if you like it or not. Well, the way this will work is, at the moment, we've got the main menu, 
uh, set to the top menu area. I want a brand new menu to be set to the social links menu. We could use the same menu that exists on both places, but that doesn't make sense. This menu area should be about so showing social media. It should be about, here's my Twitter address, here's my Facebook address, etc. Uh, so we will need a brand new menu uh, to, to add here. How do we add a brand new menu? How do we create a menu? Yep, right here. Easy. Edit your menu below or create a new menu. It's kind of weird to me that it's not a button like everything else. It's just a little text link. So go ahead and cre click create a new menu. Click create a new menu. It asks you to name it. Let's call it social menu. So we give it a name, and then on the right side, click Create Menu. Now that we've got more than one menu, the screen looks a little different. Select a menu to edit. So now here we have two, and we can have 200 if we wanted. Different menu for a different mood, I guess. And um, there's a drop down which now we have to get used to s selecting the menu and click select to edit it. So you don't have to do this, but notice if I were to select main menu and I click select, it takes me back to edit that menu. Our social menu, I have to select it here and then click select, and I'm going to edit this menu. One thing that I would say early on once you've got menus remember to attach them to where they're supposed to go as soon as possible so that you don't forget to attach them on screen and then you can't see them. So I'm going to activate the social menu will appear in the social links menu area. And this says that the top menu currently is using the main menu. One area can only have one menu attached at a time. But you can use one menu multiple times. Save that. Then now it's not obvious. OK, how do I add Facebook here? And how do I add Twitter and all of that? It's not very obvious. Well, I've got this menu in this area, and I want to populate it. But I don't see Facebook here, and I don't see Twitter here. So what do you think we do? Add what to menu? A custom link. We're on the right track. We're going to add to menu, but not the home or the blog or whatever. We're going to add a custom link, a link over to our uh, address. So open up custom link. And then here, we're going to put some uh, addresses of social media and then add to menu. So just for practice, uh, if you do have a Facebook account for your business, you can uh, type it there. If you want to borrow an address, you could use ours, facebook.com slash pmdinteractive. And then the text will just be Facebook. So the address to your Facebook account, whatever text you want it to be, then add to the menu. No, this will be different. Um, right now, this is a menu uh, focusing on showing your social media. What you're asking is a sub-menu item of the main menu. But you see, they're two separate things. We could do that by adding those social links to the main menu. So one is a main menu, one is a social menu. They, you can't really combine those two. And also the confusing part is that depending on this theme, it knows you're creating social media, putting it here, so it will actually kind of style it differently than the main menu. But it's because of this theme. So that'll make sense as we do it in a moment. Um, I'm going to try one more. Twitter, uh, PMD Interactive. 
and then just label it as Twitter. And what is PMD? Well, that's the name of our company. You can put your company or any web address here just for practice, but I'm putting in our company's address just to see how it looks. I will add it to the menu. You can rearrange these if you want, and then click Save. Visit site to see what it looks like, because you don't get any sense of what it looks like from this from this area of the dashboard, so you want to add those items, save it, and visit site. So when I visit site, it's putting it down at the very bottom, down in the footer area. I wasn't expecting it there. I thought it'd be at the top somewhere. I would love to put it at the top or the left. Uh, there's no option anywhere that allows that. So it is what it is. Um, this shows up where, where they designed it. If, if, again, you have the ability to edit the code, if you know this code, you can go to the editor and put it wherever you want. But in this case, it's at the bottom. And it automatically puts the icon of the network if it recognizes the network. And um, when I click, it goes to to the social network. It's not opening in its own window like I would like, so we'll need to fix that. But remember, that happens when you, when you open the menu item and select Open Link in a New Tab. I'm going to add that to the account. I'm also going to add another one if you want just to see another one. This is YouTube. So it recognizes most of the popular social networks. Uh, some of them it does not automatically give a nice icon. But if it's a common network, youtube.com slash the name of your address, it should recognize it. So now when I visit the front end, there's the Facebook, there's the Twitter, there's the YouTube. So let's pause there. Do you do you see those? Items, anyone need a little help on that? Uh, I went to put my Facebook in there and somehow it's auto populating a, like a keyword which I recognize, but it's not one that I'm doing. So it doesn't even matter for the class, I should just not do that. Well, where this is just the alt type copyright.
All right, so we've got some items in a couple of menus. Let's do what I was saying earlier about uh, once you switch themes, you have to remember to populate, uh, repopulate your, your menu items. So back in the dashboard, let's go look at themes. And just to keep it easy here, we've got the 2017 theme turned on. I want to jump over to uh, 2016, so activate. Uh, 2016, you hover over it, you'll see a button that says Activate. And this will be a very similar procedure uh, once we've got um, once we've got different themes. But I will activate this theme, and then we go back over to our menus. And so you've got the different menus there, and In this particular case, I guess because all three of those are WordPress, uh, WordPress official themes, it did it for us. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't assume this. It automatically set my my menu to a location. I I usually don't see that when you jump from one theme to another. But maybe they fixed that because if you think about it this way. Um, these WordPress official themes all use the same terminology of primary menu and social links menu. So it knew to put your menus in the right place. If we switch to another theme from a completely different company, they might call these things main menu, top menu, left menu. Then WordPress doesn't know where to put your menu from the old design into the new design. So it did it for us, but let's see if we can force it like I'm trying to say here. So let's go back to themes and this time we're going to add a new theme. At the top here click add new and maybe just like if you see one like me I see this one called Brit. Let's just pick whichever one here but I see this one called Brit. I'm going to click install. Once you install Brit, then you have to activate it. Brit is active. And now let's go to our menus. Hmm. Maybe more of these sites are using like a standard uh, standard text. Okay, well that's good. I would still heed my notes that sometimes when you switch between themes, it will not automatically take your uh, your menus and put them in the right place. So I'm curious, how does that look like if you visit site? So at the top here, those are my menu items, and then the social is over here instead of down at the footer. Yes. Well, it's um, it's both in terms of um, user interface design. Um, in this particular theme, um, it's not obvious that I'm on the home screen. It says home here, but it's not obvious in the menu. Um, there's a little bit of design that the people didn't quite design it right uh, when when uh, it's designed properly, if I were to go to the contact menu, I mean the contact screen, the contact menu should have changed color to show I'm in the contact screen. This one keeps it the same color as an, as an unclicked link. So it's not common to remove the link of where you're at, it's common to change its color. Yeah. Yeah, and it's actually confusing it's, it goes back and forth between both schools of thought. Should we remove a menu item when we're in that particular section? Some people will like that. Some people will get confused by it. What is common is that uh, the, the menu item is, 
use a different color to show you I'm here. But in this particular design, they didn't do that. So I like the design overall, but there's that one little thing at least that I see here that if I'm under the updates screen, that updates should be highlighted to show me I'm in updates. Yeah, it yeah, should have a background color. You're mousing over it. Yes. You, that, that was the case in the other couple of themes we looked at. Those menu items had changed to show you that you're in that section. Go back to, let's go back to the appearance and then widgets. Widgets um, in this theme only has a sidebar. Remember in the other theme 2017 we had footer 1 and footer 2. So the items that I had put in footer 1 and footer 2, it didn't know where to put them, so it stuck them into the inactive widgets. Doesn't know where to put them. So this is an example here. The, the widgets that we customized are still there. It's just they're not applied anywhere, because in the old theme, there was a place for them. And then in this new theme, there's no place for them, so it just deactivates them. And this is, again, about um, what I was saying here. Remember to reset your menus when you switch between themes. Also, many times some uh, widgets will be deactivated when switching between themes because it doesn't know where to put it. I had a footer 1 and a footer 2 in the other theme and not here, so it just deactivates them. Yes. So, for example, this one has inactive widgets that used to be in the other. Mm -hmm. Now, if we change themes to something that would support those, would those go out of inactive into the new theme? Or Possibly. I'm not sure. If it's named the same thing, footer 1, footer 2, it might put it in the right place. WordPress remembers widget settings so you won't lose that. Even though there's no footer 1 and footer 2 here, it took my widgets away, but it didn't delete their customized settings. And then when I switch back, uh, so you're seeing here, I have two items in, um, in this particular theme, Brit. When I uh, change widgets, I have two items in my sidebar. I'm going to switch back. You can do this if you want, but I'm going to switch back to 2017. Go back to widgets. And so it remembered that the last ones I had only had category and custom, and then footer one and two is empty, so I have to put back my inactive items. Oh, actually, it is there. It's just not open. Oh, that's, that's better. Yeah, it just wasn't open. Yeah, they're still there. So um, it does remember your customization from when you switch from theme to theme. But the first time you switch away from a theme to another theme, it may not know where to put them. So it puts them in inactive. But here then, uh, switching back to the original theme, it remembered how it was all set up. And when you switch from theme to theme, your placement or your setup remains. OK, so that was a little, uh, little bit more um, a look at uh, widgets. Uh, and menus, there's other things that you could still explore here. Um, if you go back to menus and you go to screen options, 
uh, there, there might be a few boxes that are not on that, that may matter to you if you're using tags or format. And eventually when we have products, we will have a new box. And that's just saying right here, I want to be able to put pages. I want to be able to put pages into my menu. I want to put individual posts into my menu. I want categories, <coughs> custom links. Eventually we will also have products. So you can experiment with that. Yeah. And, uh, if you hit the arrow next to home or any of the others, that same thing comes up the description that we used uh, in class for uh, our pictures. Uh, do you fill out the descriptions in your menu as well? Well, this one's different. The one in the media, uh, those are your notes to keep track of your pictures. This one, it says down here, the description will be displayed in the menu if the current theme supports it. So this is different than the one uh, on the other screen. The other one is just about like giving yourself notes about your pictures, uh, not necessary for SEO or anything like that. This one is to add a little bit of extra text below your menus, and if your menu supports it, it'll appear down there. Uh, so we can always try it. You know, I'm going to try this right now. I'm going to just add something. I'm going to save that and see what it looks like in my menu. And depending on the theme, you know, I don't see it. It's in there in the code somewhere, but it just doesn't display it. It depends on the theme. So if it's in the code, then the search engines still see it? Yes, the search engines would see it, and there could be a value to still put something there uh, for SEO. It might not be visual, but it's still in the code, and the search engines will see it. <clears throat> There's also here, uh, manage locations. Once you've got more than one menu, this might be an easier way to manage these things. And it says, your theme supports two menus. Sup select which menu appears in, in each location. So the top menu will have this main menu. And the social will have the social menu. You can edit the menu. You can create a new menu. All right, so we'll take our first break in a moment. Any questions at this point so far? All right. Um, I video when I switched back to Ames. Was it something that I pulled over from the widgets? Uh, I'll check you in a moment. It's supposed to remember your video. You can confirm it by checking widgets and confirming that the that the custom HTML is still there. The custom HTML is where the video was embedded. Mm -hmm. So if I moved over to uh, inactive, uh, just drag it back in and that should bring back your video, hopefully. Yeah. If you have a, uh, a menu in the main menu for vlog, just I'm a little confused. Why would you um, be using a post as a menu? Isn't that kind of a duplication, or, or is it meant to be maybe specific to a certain post or category? It's more about a specific post, yes. If you want a certain article to always show up quickly for people, you can put it right in the menu and it'll always be there. It's going to depend. It's going to depend on the theme. Some will call it a primary navigation, and some will call it a main menu. So you just have to experiment. Uh, what does this particular theme mean by these things? So you just turn them on. You save it. You visit site, and then you see what it looks like. Uh, so different uh, menu, uh, different themes might call it different things.